Okay, so this is a fly that we've done really well with the past couple of years, and we call it the Krilla. And can't say for sure what this thing imitates exactly. Um, we were just kind of experimenting with some some different types of flies, almost like attractor flies for steelhead, and kind of came up with something like this, and ended up working really, really well. And later found out that there's a invasive species of, of like freshwater shrimp in the Great Lakes, and I think they're called the bloody red shrimp. Um, and if you talk to some of the Great Lakes guys, uh, when they catch these steelhead, sometimes they'll, they'll cut their stomach open and they'll find all sorts of weird stuff in there and they'll sometimes find piles of these little shrimp. Um, and we'll, there's a photo of, the, of this shrimp at the beginning of this video, but um, I didn't even know this. I didn't know this was a thing that shrimp were out there. I know there's freshwater shrimp, but I didn't know this specific one was invasive. So just by happenstance and coincidence, this fly kind of imitated those things and they eat them a lot in the, in the Great Lakes and even though they don't live in the rivers, um, it's the same principle with the hex nymph. You know, even though some rivers don't have hexes in them, um, the steelhead eat them because they recognize them from the big lake. And I think it's the same concept and scenario with, with this fly. So um, anyhow, these things have been working really good and it's a very, very easy fly. Um, and it's just a little shrimp fly and you can just fish it just like a nymph. And I like to fish two of these at once. Um, if you fish two of these with, with light fluorocarbon when the water is low and clear, it works extremely well. Um, and like I said, they're pretty easy to tie. And just a few materials is all you need and it's just got good color contrast and catches a lot of light. So yeah, we've done, we've done pretty damn well with these things. Okay, so our hook for this fly is gonna be the um, 1530 size eight. Uh, it's a really nice steelhead hook. It's short shanked, heavy wire, down eye. Um, so we tie a lot of nymphs with this hook. And I don't think we've had any of these hooks bend out on a fish, so they've been really nice. Um, and then the tail on this, I don't even know if it's a tail, but we'll call it a tail, is just um, white laser dub, just a little tuft of it, trimmed shape. And then the, uh, the shell back is white McFly foam. And the legs or the gills or whatever these things are is pearl polar chenille. And then just a set of black medium mono eyes. And then this orange vivas thread, it's really all you need. So um, get the hook going here. And then I do a pretty heavy thread base on this because I think it's important to have this orange thread shine through all this material when it's wet. Um, I like this orange thread because it's super bright and everybody knows that steelhead really like orange, so I go pretty heavy with this stuff. And then these are the plastic mono eyes, and I do, you could use bead chain on this fly, but I've always liked the mono eyes because the, the spacing of the eyes is a little bit wider than the bead chain. So when you pull that egg yarn over top, it just sits in there nicer and just ends up looking a little more natural. So, but you could certainly use bead chain eyes, but I just prefer the plastic ones. So get those figure eighted in there and then go pretty back, pretty far back into the bend here. And then we're going to put our tail in. And like I said, that's just a little tuft of white laser dub. And all you need is just a little wisp of it. So go right in the middle tie that down and then take this front half fold back and do one wrap to lock it in so that's our tail and then I like to take your take some scissors and come in at a pretty sharp angle and just kind of taper this one cut on the bottom one cut on the top and you're looking for sort of a little kind of like a paintbrush shape that's it that's your tail so then we're gonna go back to the front, to the eyes. And our shell back is this McFly foam, it's just white. And I like to, this is a little, little much, so take about a third of this out. So you've got just a little bit of a thinner piece. And then 
I like to take the scissors, cut it nice and flush, and then lay it right behind the eyes, and then run it all the way back to the tail. So this does a couple things. Makes sure that this egg yarn doesn't really move, keeps it nice and tight, and then it gives the fly a little bit more, a little more mass, a little more body. So you can just run your thread over this whole thing and we want that orange color to be nice and prominent. So just cover this whole thing with thread. Okay. And then our legs, or gills, whatever you wanna call it, is this polar chenille and pearl. So all you need is just a little chunk of it. Um, and then rather than tying it right at the base of the tail, I like to keep a little bit of a gap there. You can see that little void. It's kind of just another hot spot that I think the fish likes. So you can come forward about a six eighth of an inch maybe, and then that's gonna be where we're gonna tie this chenille in. So you see that there's a little void right there. Looks good. So then move your thread forward to the eyes and then go ahead and wrap this all the way to the head. Um, and then this polar chenille never really, it's always good to use your, use your hands with this stuff. Even though if, you, if you've got a rotary vise, it never really wants to land on the hook nicely with the rotary function, just because this fiber is so long, it just gets tangled in itself. So it's better to just kind of use your hand and peel this back as you go forward. So it should take eight or nine wraps, and then just land it right there, right behind the eyes. So do one wrap behind, one wrap in front, behind the front, and then that's good to go. So you can kill that. And then I always come in with this thread and sort of fill this head out a little bit in between the eyes. Just gives it a little more strength and more color. Okay. And then you're gonna hang your thread at the eye. And now we're gonna sort of move these polar chenille fibers back and down to make way for this shell back to come down. So there we go. And you don't wanna pull this too tight. If you pull it too tight, it gets kind of skinny. So if you wanna let off and give it a little bit of slack, it kind of puffs up and gives it a little bit of a bigger shape. So somewhere in the, in the middle is good, right about there. So you can just tie that straight down. A couple in front, a couple in the back. And then you can whip finish. So I always whip finish twice because one of them is gonna come out inevitably. Okay, get our thread out of there. And you can pull on this egg yarn and then come in real tight snip that out okay so almost done here all we got to do now is just trim these legs and you could probably use a shorter polar chenille um, but I like the full size stuff the standard length for this reason right here is you can pull pull it all down straight down and then you can come in with your scissors and make a really steep angle cut like this like that. So what that does is it gives the legs a little bit of a, a tapered shape and I can assure you that if you were just to cut it straight you'd catch just as many fish <laughs> I promise you but it's just one of those details I obsess over that makes absolutely no difference but um, I think it looks good so that's why I do it but that's it that's the Krilla um, actually that's not it um, at the end you just take some glue or some UV resin and just put a little dot of it right on those eyes just to make sure that thread doesn't unravel or those eyes spin. So that's it right there. So yeah, we've done really good with this fly. Like I said, it imitates like a little freshwater shrimp. I think it's called the bloody red shrimp, but works all year long. Works great in the fall, works great in the winter, works great in the spring. Um, and the trout seem to eat it too for some reason, but just fish it just like a nymph. 
uh, dead drift it with either another egg or or two of these things and it works really well so uh, yeah that's it so tie some of these up let us know what you think and subscribe if you haven't already thanks